I captured this data set after probably one of the strangest field trips of my entire life. So I was in Central Australia, we'd just been on a field trip with Les Hiddens, who many people in my generation in Australia would know as the Bush Tucker Man, and Hedley Thomas, who is an investigative journalist at the Australian newspaper. And lots of people would know him through his podcast, The Teacher's Pet. So a really, really strange crew to be out in the field with and an interesting trip. But at the end of the trip, I met up with a friend and colleague of mine in Alice Springs, Dr. Christine Schlesinger, and she's an ecologist and is interested in weed species. And she was telling me about her field site where she is looking at the invasive weed species buffalo grass, which was initially planted in Central Australia to reduce the amount of dust spreading throughout the region and also as cattle fodder as well. But it is an invasive species. It takes over a lot of the native plants and is also a really, really big bushfire risk because it builds up quite a lot of fuel load there. So I said to her, well, how about we go out to your site and we'll capture some drone data while we're there. And so she took me to her site and as you can see, here's the image mosaic on the left-hand side of your screen. So it's made up of lots and lots of individual photos. And I flew this on an Aeronavix bot drone platform back in 2016. And the camera I used was a Sony digital SLR camera, the A7R with a pancake lens. And it's a 36 megapixel camera, but just red, green, blue, nothing fancy in terms of spectral information. So you can see this site here that is just sort of this rectangle. And this is the area that she has actually painstakingly cleared out of all the buffalo grass and you can actually see the native flora returning in there and she's doing all the surveys for the fauna as well and her whole site actually extends a little bit further down here as well so she's got the control site where she hasn't been clearing the buffalo grass and so you can see what that looks like all over this area but just to get a real feel for what the data actually looks like it's quite amazing really so in the zoomed in part you can actually go in all the way down to seeing blades of grass and twigs and all that sort of thing so it was flown at 60 meters altitude so just incredible resolution from this RGB drone data set.